Hello lovely butterflies, welcome to this channel on Monday, week 158. I'm starting with some cambric today, which I'm resizing so that it fits my journal. And then I'm going for a not straight line at all. And to hold my cambric in place, I'm going to use this new modeling paste that I got, which is the hard modeling paste from Golden. So it's a bit thicker than a regular modeling paste that you might use. Simply scraping it on using a palette knife. And yes, I'm doing both sides because I want the other side to react in the same way to the paints that I'm going to apply as the right side. I'm not smoothing it down using my palette knife. On the contrary, I'm trying to add a bit more texture um, to the modeling paste. I left it to dry by itself. I'm coming back. I'm picking out three colors of the chalky finish range from Deco Art. And I'm simply dabbing them on using a sponge. So I really want to accentuate the texture that I have going on in the modeling paste. To enhance the texture even more, I'm using this water-soluble oil paint. So really pushing it in all that texture using a paintbrush. And now that my oil paint is more or less dry, I'm going in with a baby wipe to lift off some of the paint and to push it even further inside all the texture that I have going on. So considering that I have cambric on the right, which is held in place with the modeling paste, that should give me a very interesting finish. To lift it even further, I'm spraying some water directly on the cambric. I'm protecting the rest of my journal. I don't want to turn everything blue. And then I continue lifting on the paint. And that gives me another idea. Instead of lifting it using a kitchen roll or baby uh, wipes, I can just lift it using the other side of my journal. Next up I'm going in with some gold paint, just dabbing it on here and there using a palette knife. I really like that effect that I have going on uh, from lifting the oil paint, the watered down oil paint. So I want to do some more of that because that's what journaling is all about. It's all about having fun. So if you have something that amuses you, well, just keep going with it. 
So I'm just lifting it with some cambric and then putting it on my journal to press it down. Well, because of all the texture that I have going on, it didn't leave enough paint, so I just pushed my journal into the paint and then closed it again. But as I still have a lot on my table, I might as well put some down in my mini journal. This is the one that I use for my A Layer A Day challenge. And I still have some paint on my palette knife, so I'm pushing that one in my journal too. Nothing goes to waste. So as I really like that cambric, I decided to put it in the journal and probably with some sewing, but first it needs to dry completely. And I don't want to spend any time doing that, so I'm just leaving it aside so that I can focus on something else. Going in with white chalky finish, I want to soften down everything that I have going on there because it's a bit much. So just applying some white chalky finish with a brayer. And of course, I'm not going over the nice things that I have going on completely on the left of this spread. So I'm focusing more on the right and a little bit on the center. So I know that my cambric will go down there. So now I can start focusing on my focal point. And of course I need a circle. Just going in with a Unipin pen and tracing it directly on the spread. This is one of my sticker words in the craft finish. And I'm adding a little bit of black soot distress ink on the edge to make it pop from the background. This spread says Quantum Leap because it's the first one that I did from my new studio, which is now at Joe's place. And I didn't do many vlogs because it was way too much work. But um, in one of the vlogs that I did, I did show you the new studio and the house and everything. So if you want to check it out, check out the vlog videos. I'll put the link in the description of this video. So I'm still debating on what I'm going to do and then I did it. I s did sew it down, pulling the thread to the front so that I, I can put a little knot so that I'm sure that it stays in place. And then resizing my cambric just a little. I do like it sticking out of the channel, but not too much. So now that the cambric is in place, I can see that my word is too far away. I do want it to stay together. And if you see me do funny things with my hands, it's because I'm talking to my patrons as they were enjoying an extended version of it. If you would like to have more information about becoming a patron and have extended videos and hangouts, we have a live hangout every week. Um, check out my patron page and that too I will link in the description of this video. I'm adding some more of that gold uh, paint to make the page pop a little bit because it's all a bit too matte, not to say dull. I thought that I was done, but it needed a little extra. So I mixed up some pink acrylic paints with quinacridone violet ac uh, fluid acrylic to create a shade that I liked and to add some splatters, some warm splatters to make my whole page come together. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for spending this moment with me. If you liked today's video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you back here next Monday for a new channel on Monday and next Saturday for a new A Layer A Day challenge. If you would like a shout out to remind you to put down A Layer A Day, drop me your first name and country in comment to this video and I will get back to you in my Instagram stories. Meanwhile, butterfly kisses.